a job in Berlin easy? Do you have to speak German? What about the rents? Well, I'm going to answer all of your questions and more, so stay tuned. Today, we are talking about how it is living in Berlin as a foreigner and should you consider Berlin as your choice when you decide to move to Germany? Hi, I'm Farah, an expat living in Europe for six years and working in Berlin for two years now. And I'm going to share all of my experiences with you today so you can decide if you want to move to Berlin or not. But before we get started with the video, I make content on self-development, lifestyle, and travel in Europe and around the world. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing. So if you didn't know, Berlin is one of the most international cities in Germany. Every year, more and more people move to Berlin in search of better job opportunities or just a better social life. But before you pack your bag and book a flight to Berlin, hear me out. It's not as easy or as fun as you might picture. As an expat, the first question that might pop up in your mind is how easy it is to get a job in Berlin. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not that difficult. Berlin has a lot of job opportunities. How you go about it is literally similar as any other city. You will just go on to the famous job platforms and see if the job that you want is there. But of course, it's just a general and blanket statement. It comes down to your field or your area of expertise. But I think if there is one city that has a lot of job opportunities for every field, it could be Berlin. With job comes the living. How easy it is to find an apartment in Berlin? And this is a burning question. And the answer to this question is, it's really difficult. <laughs> in Berlin, it's not easy to find an apartment. It might take you one to two years to find your dream apartment. And I know people who are waiting for years to get their dream apartment, but it is not as easy. But that being said, it is not impossible. Speaking German in Germany should be a no-brainer, but not necessarily if you're living in Berlin. However, there's a catch. It depends all on your field of study. If you're working in the fields like engineering or technical fields, then of course you need to have German. Me, as a professional civil planning engineer, I have to speak German and I'm also working in the government agency. So for me, German is almost as important as any other thing. But if you, for example, are working in a software industry or marketing, you might not even have to learn German. But if you just wanna know if you can survive without speaking German in Berlin, Yes, you are 100% safe. If living in Berlin is affordable or not, it really comes down to you as a person and your lifestyle. I can already tell that the food items and going out to eat in Berlin is way cheaper in comparison to if you are in Hamburg. Also, it makes a big difference if you cook at home or you get everyday takeouts or you are the person who goes out restauranting every day. If you wanna do a good dinner for two in a good restaurant, you can expect to pay anywhere from 60 to 80 euros and upwards. So it's not as cheap, but as compared to other cities in Germany, it might be better. Making friends. <laughs> This is the topic that has no straight answer. Yes, you can find a lot of people in Berlin. Berlin is such a big city. And if you're struggling with making friends, you can go on different Facebook groups, which are catering to different interests, activities, and hobbies. You can join hiking groups. You can also join Bumble. I know many people who make friends via Bumble. You can also meet a lot of people in the party and nightlife scene, but I, for myself, am not a really party enthusiast, so I cannot really speak to that but i know my friends who have made a lot of friends to party with in berlin so yeah meeting people is fairly easy but building a long-lasting relationship or long-lasting friendship is not that easy berlin is mostly a place where everybody's gonna meet you and they're gonna be really nice to you of course you will have the feeling that they are not judging you which i understand but to me i think it's very superficial it's a very fast city everybody has a ton of things to do so don't take it personally it's not you it's just Berlin. <laughs> Dating in Berlin. <laughs> this is another really important topic. If you're moving to Berlin and you want to find a life partner, 
or you are in that phase of your of your life where you don't want to have meaningless encounters then it's probably not the best place for you especially tinder or a hinge or any other app to be honest there are horror stories in berlin dating scene there are a lot of people who are looking for polygamy or open relationships which is okay but sometimes their better halves don't even know about it and it can get messy so it is not the easiest thing to date in berlin <laughs> finding a food option for your diet is literally going to be no problem in berlin no matter if you're a vegan or kosher or you eat only halal berlin has thousands of options for you and not only in the restaurants but also different grocery stores it could be that you can take a lot of time to find multiple things and you have to go to multiple grocery stores to get your groceries but you are definitely gonna find everything for your dietary preferences <music> is a really accessible city they have u train which is a subway berlin has an s-bahn which is like over the roads fast train that's what i can tell <laughs> they have tram systems they have buses from everywhere you get these little scooties and scooters and electric motors and bicycles of course then there are ubers and bolts um these kind of like rental car and taxi services so moving around berlin should not be a problem for you especially when you live in the center of berlin or in the ring which is like the a zone of berlin or the a b zone of berlin it's gonna be really easy Easy for you to find any sort of transportation so now we come to a topic which could be different from different perspectives of course if you are coming from a European country to Germany your experiences could be really different than if you're coming from a developing country to Germany especially to Berlin in general people say that Berlin doesn't judge and Berlin you can be anybody in Berlin but I beg to differ it's kind of like a blanket statement generally it's pretty peaceful here and um you don't have anything to worry about there is not big issues with the r-a-c-i-s-t but more and more people in today's climate are going through different experiences which might not always be nice but hey this, this is a thing that can happen in any big city so in general it's really peaceful and you can definitely think about living a good life here if it's a good city for kids or not i am really not sure it also depends on you as a person and your point of view for me i think berlin is not the ideal place to have kids so for me probably not but for someone else maybe yes so i think that was everything i had to tell you about living in berlin if i had missed anything or if you have any questions please let me know i read all of my comments i will try my very best to help you and i'm working and living here for two years i have probably seen everything that i have to see if you have enjoyed the video please do not forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the little bell icon so you always get notified when i put new videos if you're more interested in the topic of finding an apartment in berlin you can watch the video right here other than that i will see you right there Ooh.